Welcome back to another video guys. This is Captain Jason. I'm a full-time fishing guide here in Tampa Bay, Florida. My channel is dedicated to making you guys better anglers, more efficient anglers, and basically helping you guys get more fish to the boat. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you check out my full YouTube channel. It's Fish NFL, Fish National Football League. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and you'll get to catch all of my how-tos, my traveling videos, and see some awesome videos of what my clients catch while they're out fishing with me on my charters as well. So let's go ahead and dive in to this weekend's weather. It's Friday right now, and we have a cold front coming in hot, and it's going to be raining here very shortly. But Saturday, the front will have passed already. We're going to have some heavy winds all day Saturday with a high of 64 and a low of 45. Sunday is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 64 and a low of 53. Now, don't let these temperatures scare you guys. It's pretty much been the average temperature for this week has been the mid 50s and the lows in the 40s. So the fish, the fish are adapted to it right now and we've been able to catch fish pretty much every day this week. So don't let the coolness of this weekend deter you from catching fish because if you go out there you will be able to catch fish in this uh, temperature because we have a pretty consistent pattern going on right now. Let's go ahead and scroll over to wind finder check out what we got for wind this weekend because I'm pretty sure Saturday is going to be bumpy so let's check it out. So we have Saturday at 7 a.m. It looks like we have a lot of green and green is not good guys. Green is going to be approaching 20 to 25 miles an hour at 7 a.m. and let's see what it does and that's going to be out of the northwest and northwest is not a good wind for Tampa Bay. It's it makes it bumpy. So definitely if you have a small boat this weekend, do not go out inside Tampa Bay unless you're fishing. You're going to want to be fishing northwest as you can up inside Tampa Bay to stay away from those big big seas. 8 a.m. winds picking up. 1 p.m. it's just cruising everywhere straight almost almost directly west but slightly northwest and then uh finally starting to calm down as uh we get into sunset into about 10 to 15. As far as Sunday goes, looks like that front didn't have a lot of energy. So we are going to be seeing a lot calmer conditions than we have on Saturday. It looks like they're forecasting the wind at 7 a.m. to be from 3 to 10 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and just scroll through this whole day and see what it's doing. Okay, so west, southwest variable all the way through the evening. So Sunday is going to be a very good day to get out on the water. If you have one day, you have to. If you only have one day to go this weekend and try to catch fish, Sunday should be your day to go fishing because the wind's going to be a lot better. It's going to be doable for pretty much everyone on Sunday. Let's move on and check out what the tides are doing for this weekend. Got some pretty decent tides this weekend. Saturday, uh, January 16th, we have a low tide at 11:31 a.m. and another high tide at 6:23 p.m. This weekend, if I was fishing on Saturday, which I have tomorrow off because it is going to be that windy, I don't want to be out there. If I was fishing tomorrow, I would be picking up my clients at 8 a.m. and fishing that whole outgoing tide until 11:30. Keep in mind that the tide is going to be substantially lower than what this tidal prediction is showing because of those big northwest winds and again if you're gonna if you want to fish in the afternoon 11 30 till dark gonna be a pretty good bite you really can't go wrong and the winds are going to be diminishing as you get into the afternoon on saturday so that's another positive thing if you're going to fish that afternoon tide moving on to sunday's tide we have a low tide at 1203 p.m and then another high tide at 645 p.m same thing sunday if you're going to go in the morning or the afternoon you're going to be able to catch fish because we have a lot of moving water. We're going to have way less wind. So if you have somebody that's not a super serious fisherman, or if you just want to get out there and just be able to enjoy yourself, cast some lines, Sunday, like I said, is going to be the day you want to be out there to do that. As far as what's been biting this week, I've pretty much been on a pretty strong pattern. Sea trout, we've been catching sea trout in all the deep canals, all, all of the normal areas you'll catch them this time of year. So think, where can I find warm water? Where can I find areas that have deep, dark water? Because that water is going to be warmer. And that's where you're going to be finding a lot of your trout right now. A lot of people talk crap about silver trout, but I've been on a really good silver trout bite. And on those really crappy weather days when you really shouldn't catch fish, a lot of times those silver trout will really save you. And they are delicious table fare. So if you know where the silver trout are, they're usually somewhere deep near structure or big holes uh, in the middle of the bay. If you got a boat that can get out to those spots and catch them, you can really load up right now and take home some really good food to eat. Been hearing a lot of reports of people catching redfish throughout the bay. I haven't been seeing a lot, but I haven't been focusing on redfish right now. I'm pretty much been focused on 100% cobia and trout fishing 
and that's pretty much what I'm doing this time of year. And then the sheep's head are starting to push in too. And I would anticipate as soon as we get closer to the end of February, the sheep's head bite's really gonna start going off. Offshore, you really are gonna be playing the wind game unless you got a really big boat. But if you can make it offshore, the hogfish bite has been fantastic. I've been seeing photos all over social media of people filling up entire coolers with snapper and hogfish. So if you've got offshore on the mind, that's what I would go target out there this weekend. Now let's go ahead and move on to the Salooners and see what they got this weekend. See if we can catch some fish based off them. Saturday Salooner, we have a minor Salooner period from 10.04 a.m. to 11.04 a.m. And then another high activity Salooner from 3.49 p.m. to 5.49 p.m. Sunday Salooners are from 10.37 a.m. to 11.37 a.m. And from 4.33 p.m. to 6.33 p.m. We have a high activity Salooner. So, Keep that in mind, enjoy your weekend, go out there, catch some fish. If you haven't already, please make sure you make your way over to my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button so that way you can catch all my content, all my how-tos, and all my fishing videos each week. Lastly, if you click on the link in the description, it's my Amazon affiliate link, and any anytime you click that link and buy anything from Amazon, I get a small commission and that goes directly to help growing this channel and making my videos and my reports better for you guys. It literally costs you nothing and it doesn't change the price on anything you buy from Amazon, but I get a small commission. So if you guys could click that link and order some stuff off Amazon, anything, as long as you click that link for the next 24 hours, I get a commission off anything you order. That would really help my, me and my channel out. I appreciate you guys watching this fishing forecast. Make sure you leave some comments. Let me know what you think of my report. Let me know what other things you guys want to see in this report. You guys have a great weekend. We'll see you on the water.